I tried this and it was a miracle, man. I, let me tell you, I passed so many stones. It was disgusting. I couldn't believe that stuff was in my body because I'd always kind of prided it taking my body. You know, I'd always been a bodybuilder and kept, kept my physical appearance up. And I couldn't believe this filth. Was three in years ago, life. just to interrupt you, three years ago, Anthony was back there when he first started working here and he was doing a liver cleanse because he worked here for about six, eight months before he's ever even on air. I guess he'd been a guest before, but uh, before we even announced he was actually working here because then he was just a consultant. And he's going, you got to do this liver cleanse. You got to do this liver cleanse. You got to do this liver cleanse. Uh, you know, we need to come out with our own, you know, special brand of this concentrate that Dr. Grip's developing. And I, and I showed me online photos of gallstones and gallbladders. And I said, I don't believe that. And finally, after a year and a half of him pecking at me and you, I did it. And I don't want to get into details. It didn't happen the next day like it does for most people. It happened two days later when I was at Alamo Draft House, about to walk in to see a movie. And I said, excuse me one minute to my friends. I was out with my kids. I made them sit out there on the bench, and I went in. And I'm not going to get into details, but let me, it's like a horror movie. <laughs> and, 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 I'm, and I had the black balls, which they say is even worse than the green ones. Oh, don't put it on screen. The point is, no wonder these things rupture. Because your body is trying to process stuff that isn't natural. It just balls it up. It doesn't know what to do. So I interrupted you. Start over with what happened uh, to you, sir, uh, Jim. Well, Alex, mine were actually tan stones, and I had a bunch of stuff that looked like grit and sand that came out as well. And uh, uh, well, uh, to be to be short, I had had so much pain under my right rib cage, Dr. Group, that it felt like you know, it was popping in there. And I, if I pushed on it, I could actually feel popping. Well, now my guess is I had so many stones in there that they were grinding against each other. God. I did this thing with, that you suggested, got the liver cleanse, and I turbo boost. I did some research on the internet, and I turbo boosted it by doing Epsom salts as well. And I passed, it had to have been easily 100 stones. And today, I feel better than I did 30 years ago. I have more energy. And when I urinate, I can smell it, actually, from feet away. So I know my body is just blowing toxins out that, the bile ducts must have been previously completely blocked up or something. Well, you know, you, I, just, I forgot. I called group the next day and I said, I didn't pass the stones. And he goes, you may have to do another one. You may be really backed up. And he said, I tell you what, go to the store, get the little uh, caplets, get Epsom salts and take five or six of those tonight. And then that was the next day it did it. But I had to take the Epsom salt. I forgot. So I guess that's how you turbocharge. When do you recommend you take the Epsom salts uh, for people like Jim and I. Well, we actually added the Epsom salts to the actual program itself. So the day that you get, you drink the olive oil, earlier in the day, around 1 or 2 in the afternoon, we have you do the Epsom salts, mix them in water, and drink that down. And then later in the evening that day, which is the flush day, is when you drink the 4 to 6 ounces of olive oil, of course, cold-pressed organic olive oil. And the reason why the oil, olive oil is included and the reason it works so good is because it's like oil pulling, which is an ancient Ayurvedic tradition of, of circulating oil in your mouth, and it pulls toxins out. So what happens when you drink that much olive oil, it goes in, it goes through the liver, you're lying on your right side, and it's, it, the, the four days beforehand when you're taking the liver shield, what you're doing is you're softening all the stones. You're turning them into sponge-like stones. You're opening the liver. And you're breaking them into little littler pieces and the gallbladder. And so that day, the the heavy amount of oil from the olive oil is actually going to contract and squeeze, almost like you have a sponge full of water, and you squeeze that out. Without the olive oil, you don't ever get that squeezing effect. Well, sure, but I mean, this out. is sensational. This should have been on Oprah and Dr. Oz. I didn't believe it when, when you guys were telling me. I just said, come on, I'm not going to have green balls come out. Okay, so think of all the money spent on gallbladder surgeries every year. Think of how many people have their gallbladders taken out every single year. I don't have that estimate in front of me, but I know it's it's ex there's billions. millions and billions and millions of dollars. Uh, it's got to be billions. It's got to be billions. So I mean, total health care is like some ridiculous number, like five hundred billion a year or something. So if you could save your gallbladder for five dollars, let's say with five dollars worth of olive oil. You know, what we're doing is actually making it safe with the liver shield, you know, taking it, you know, the way you should sure. do it so you don't get a stone I want to just briefly go back to Jim because we're going to go to break and come back with two more segments and then do a full hour of overdrive, fourth hour now live. But talking to Jim, Jim, how would you just in, you know, 10 words or a statement describe the doctor group InfoWars Life Liver Cleanse? Man, it, 
it, it really it saved me a lot of money from an operation, like Doctor Group was saying. It's uh, cleans out my body where I smell more toxins coming out now. I have more energy. Um, it was a big lifesaver for me. I'm definitely going to try the Oxy Cleanse now. Um, I'm a big big advocate of uh, natural remedies, and, and I, I always listen to your show. And anytime Doctor Group's on, I perk up and try to take in his uh, uh, advice. And we are seeing uh, an increase in, in everything in our products, just like you guys were talking about earlier, from bisphenol P and A to these nanotech. Absolutely. And- Now's the time of detox. Thank you so much, Jim. Peter Thanks, and Jim. others, your calls are straight ahead. I want to ask you this. But when we come back, I want you to answer it. What does it mean? Because I'd say 95% of people have it within a couple days, about 80% the next morning, but another 15% or so. You know, it takes a few days like me. Some people, though, like 5 6% say nothing happens. What does that mean? They do this cleanse, nothing happens. We'll be back. All right, we're taking your calls in this segment. Five minutes in the next, then we're going to have uh, InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew come in and host a 55 minutes of the show uh, with, I think it's Leanne McAdoo and Jakari Jackson coming in with him. When David Knight's back next week, he'll be in doing the show. Uh, I'll be doing the fourth hour sometimes as well. We have a lot of special reports that are going to premiere in this new fourth hour. We're going to make this one of the most important hours of the transmission and cover a lot of the news that's just broken or that we haven't gotten to yet. And, and certain stuff I'll say, hey, I want you to cover this. Like the EU migrant crisis out of control, 10 mind-blowing facts about CERN. I'm going to give these to do, and I'm going to say, I don't care when you do it, just cover these during your hour. That way, some stuff we didn't get to that's important, they'll end up covering uh, in that fourth hour. When it is just another hour to pack more info in, take your calls, you name it. Peter in Washington, you're on the air with... Uh, Dr. Edward Group, the founder of the Global Healing Center. Go ahead. Yes, you can hear me, can't you? I can, brother. Thank you. Okay, fine. Uh, Dr. Group, uh, I've uh, been taking paracetam about 20 years on my own recommendation, uh, sometimes with uh, liquid uh, uh, choline nitrate. Uh, I have no uh, complaints, but I'd like to hear your opinion, and then secondly, whether it would be compatible with your product. Well, I'm guessing you're probably taking that for pain somewhere. Can you give me a little bit of... Paracetam? No, no. Uh, Paracetam, uh, the Nutril, that's uh, an an early uh, um, smart drug came out over 40 years ago you're not okay. familiar with okay okay yes 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 uh i don't think there's in, there's going to be any type of contraindications i always recommend though whenever you're taking any natural supplement spread it out as much as you can uh, especially 30 minutes b- before or after any type of pharmaceutical or any type of other nutraceutical if you can and just play it by ear you know so, test yeah, it just out play it by ear the most important thing is Anything that you're taking, you want to look and see if it has any toxic fillers or excipients or binders in it. I'm pretty sure you might have some excipients and binders in that. Uh, And those usually accumulate in the liver. So, again, it all goes back to how clean your body is and ultimately what the body needs to heal itself and and reactivating the body's self-healing mechanism. Well, I was on an airplane with a chemist. Very, I mean, I looked him up. He's well-known flying back from Toronto. Uh, he lives in um, in California, and he runs major you know, pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities in Toronto. And he said, look, most drugs today were getting approved. You know, he said most of the drugs that were approved 20, 30 years ago, we couldn't get approved today. He said, if you take Tylenol and you drink alcohol, you might as well just cut your liver out. And he goes, and no one will tell anybody that. It's deadly for your liver. And there people popping this stuff all day, and they just don't know. He said Advil was fine. Uh, but people just don't know that just because something was approved before, and I'm not saying your drugs are, there's tens of thousands who could know them all. Uh, just, you know, research it for yourself. That's the great thing about the Internet is there's so much research out there, and just check out what's credible for yourself. I know Dr. Mercola is on, he's a medical doctor. On Friday, we'll go through a lot of this with him, or we're trying to get him on right now. Thank you, Peter. God bless you. Let's jam in. Matt in Connecticut, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, I had a question for Dr. Group about retinal vein occlusion. Yeah, go ahead. In the eye? Yes, yeah. go ahead. Uh, retinal, retinal venal occlusion, if the doctor knows anything about it. Uh, well, usually any type of retinal vein occlusions uh, are going to be from a toxic buildup, and that could be from a combination of different things in your diet. So that's even more the reason to cleanse the liver. 
When the liver becomes congested, then you start getting particles, toxic particles into the bloodstream. When you start, that's also another reason why people start losing their vision around 40, at least their, uh, their close-up vision. They have to have reading glasses because you start getting tiny occlusions in the retinal veins and arteries. Hey, Matt, that was a great question. Got to jump. We'll be right cleanse, back in cleanse, one minute. Cleanse. We'll be back in one minute or 70 seconds. Infowars.com forward slash show. You want to find the free feeds? Spread the word. God bless you all.